So hello guys, my name is Eframe. So today I'll be doing a review of the i20 ADSW monitor by AOC. So without further ado, let's go right into the review. So now let's take a look at the monitor, what you get in the box, and also going to tell you some of the specification of this monitor itself. So what you get in the box is the VGA cable, the power plug, the uh, power adapter, and of course the instruction manual as well. Uh, and of course it comes with a DVD for the installation of the drivers. If you need it, you can of course download it on their website. So let's take a look at the back of the monitor itself. Uh, so on the uh, four corners of the monitor, you get uh, the Versa mount, which uh, you actually mount it on the wall. You have it at the back of the monitor, which is very useful if you need to mount it at the wall. So looking at the back, you get a VGA, a D sub input, and also as well on the right, you get a power input as well. That's all for the input of this monitor. So now let's take a look at the button at the back of the monitor. So first of all, from the bottom, you can see that there's the power button. And on the second one at the top is the screen adjustment button where we auto adjust the screen and we have the navigation button on the top. And the first one is the menu button. I really wish that the button is on the front so it's easier to navigate. But you need to get used to it after some time. So this is a little bit of a downside but there are more advantage of this monitor which I'm going to tell you soon. So let's go on to the specification. So let's go on to the specification. So this is a 19.5 inch monitor. It has a resolution of 1600 by 900. It's a 900p monitor. It has a screen format of 16 ratio by 10, which means it's slightly longer than most 16 by 9 monitor. This is, has a brightness of 250. It needs some brightness, which is actually pretty bright in my opinion. And we have a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1, a dynamic contrast ratio of 20 million to 1, and also this monitor offers great viewing angles because it's an IPS monitor and it has a response time of 5 milliseconds. One great feature of this monitor is of course tutable. We know we love tutable monitors so this monitor although it's on the budget side this is tutable and it's 5 degrees to the front and obviously 23 degrees to the back so this is a very good tutable monitor. So now this monitor I have plugged into my computer so you can see that First of all, this is offers really great quality colors. So this is an IPS display. So basically, IPS display is a panel that mostly used on high-end devices and also high-end monitors. And one commonly uh, used is like the Apple iPhone. They actually use it, the IPS display which offers great colors and of course great viewing angles as well so usually IPS panel is usually used on uh, high-end devices or high-end monitors but this is a budget monitor you only get it around less than 300 ringgit in Malaysia so it's really a great buy so um, in terms of image quality you can see that it's really very good so even though that I've been filmed on the camera, it still actually produces very good and accurate colors. And the viewing angles are just awesome. If you were to compare it to a standard TN panel, the color looks more sharp when you are, you know, actually looking at the side. But this panel, even if you are looking, you know, on different angles, it actually, the colors are still awesome and amazingly sharp. So despite this is only a 900p monitor, it still offers great sharpness great contrast if you were to compare it to a 1080p display on the side you may know some noticeable difference in terms of resolution but if you are just using it as your secondary monitor just to watch video just to do some simple basic office work this is a great monitor to buy because it's very very cheap and obviously you get amazing colors as well because um, most of the monitor on this price range they are actually um, TN monitor and they are just basic LCD monitor that doesn't offer the sharpness and the contrast of this IPS monitor that can be offered. So even though I'm just going through my pictures as you can see this is my 500px account I take a lot of photographs and you can just see that it's just amazing the contrast and the colors are just you know amount of saturation and so vibrancy so if you want to 
person who loves videos and also photo content, you will be enjoying this amazing display with great colors and contrast. But the colors is not really that accurate, it's more saturated. Uh, but um, in my opinion, it's just great if you have this as a secondary monitor or just buy it for some simple office use and some great entertainment. Just want to show you guys uh, what you actually get in the menu of this monitor. You get to set your brightness, your contrast, you have eco mode, you have the gamma, you have the DCR which is the dynamic contrast ratio. But I would just like to turn it off because it just set everything to auto. So this is how it looks like. Okay, We have the um, luminance which you get actually set all your various things in here which I think is really very flexible which actually thinks that this monitor actually offers great flexibility to actually turn your image so next we also get to have the image setup so you have the clock, your face, you have the sharpness and so on so this is the color setup which I think this is more important for most of you okay this is where you actually set your image temperature your color and um, you want to tune to your best liking this is where you should be at obviously this is really very good and i love it so this is one thing that you can uh, really make and tune your image to the thing that you really love so let's going on to the next one and uh, you can see which is the OSD setup you have the languages chinese mandarin these are the languages you get the um, lots of lots of languages in asia you have korean you have uh, i don't know some of the um, lots of languages you can actually um, actually choose from so you have italian you have dutch portuguese as well so this in terms of monitor functionality is pretty much um, good i just want to show you uh, what this uh, monitor can actually do and um, yeah this is basically more the things that you will need to know you know some part i just keep it because those those things are not really that important but this is what you can get actually get from this monitor so yeah address all for me so if you are looking for a budget monitor office monitor this is a great ips monitor you will not regret it this is an amazing monitor i began to fall in love in this monitor day by day for the price that i'm paying it's really a great deal so yeah that's all for me if you like this video remember to give a thumbs up remember to subscribe to my channel for more new videos um yeah i'll be doing a channel update pretty much soon so i'll be doing more videos in 2017 and i hope you guys have a great day and uh, do enjoy yourself and uh, god bless you